This video is going to be a review of the Noontech Rio S in-ear headphones. These were sent to me to review on my channel, and I've reviewed some other Noontech products. I reviewed the Zorro and the uh, Noontech Hamo S. Both of those are over-ear headphones. So this is the first in-ear product that I've used from Noontech. Now this is, I believe, an upgrade from the original Rio headphones. And from what I can tell, they've made some really significant improvements in the sound quality from other reviews that I've uh, read. I've never uh, listened to the original Rios, um, but the sound quality on these I think is really improved and I'll talk about that in a minute. Now let me just kind of show you guys the, uh, the packaging and kind of the quality of the headphones. First of all, you get a pretty good quality packaging, um, which you know I think is really important when a company goes to the lengths of making a, a package that's nice. I think it just speaks to um, the quality that they put into their headphones. And let me just mention that New Tech to me has a pretty interesting business model and that is they make products that look very similar to Beats uh, but they actually have better sound quality than Beats, at least all the ones that I've listened to uh, and they still look good uh, but they're at a much better price point than Beats headphones so not only do you get better sound but you get them at a better price so um, you know some people have mentioned you know why do they make things to look um, real close to the beats um, you know it's just their business model and, and, and you know take it or leave it I'm, I'm, I'm glad they make uh, some headphones that, that sound really good for a good price point um, so these um, have a pretty good quality to them um, you can see that um, they have a, a, a shape that kind of angles down and I'll talk about that in a minute um, as to how that affects the fit in the ear and they've got this little metal band here and of course they do have a microphone which is really important uh, for me uh, for headphones that aren't very expensive like you know just pure audiophile headphones it's really nice to have a single button remote and a microphone and the microphone works well and no issues with call quality uh, complaints I'm talking on the microphone and it does sit kind of right by your mouth so you get a, uh, a pretty good pickup with the uh, with your voice um, as you can see, it is a, a flat cable, very tangle-free. It's actually a little bit wider than some of the other flat cables that I've used, which makes it more tangle-free. Um, the It does have a clip on it, and I usually don't use clips like this, but because the cable is a little thicker, it's also a little bit heavier. And so I found that by clipping this on a shirt um, so that the headphones do not hang too heavily uh, really uh, just kind of helps with the comfort and helps them stay in your ears better so um, you know I just clip it on so that the, the cables aren't pulling down too hard and just, while I have them in my ears let me just kind of show you what they look like in the ears so they you know they look really good and they always you know put in their box that um, their products are you know fashion headphones um, so they make them not only to sound good but I think they look pretty good as well now um, you can see on the box they also make these in different colors um, and the blue ones that I'm holding also white, uh, black, and then a red cable with a kind of a black earbud. And since I mentioned the clip, uh, I will say that it, it does swivel. So it's on a little uh, pivot here that allows it to swivel, which is really nice because it kind of lets the cable move around freely on your shirt. Um, so that's kind of a nice touch. On the other end, it, it is a straight uh, headphone jack um, as opposed to some of them that have an angle. Um, but what's nice about this is it's thin enough so that it can go into a pretty thick cell phone case. Um, I've had some that um, the jack is too wide and it does not go uh, into a cell phone case. Um, so uh, that does fit pretty well. So let me talk about fit on these because this is important. Uh, you know, over the ear headphones, you know, you just put them over your ears and, and, and they work for most people. Um, earbuds are much more finicky and I've had some earbuds that will just would not stay in my ears. Uh, these do a pretty good job, but because of the angle on these, they don't go really far inside your ears. Now, I love, when I do headphone reviews, I, I kind of like to compare similar products. Uh, these are the Soul Republic Jacks, which I've actually done a review on these as well. Uh, these go into your ears further. And the Jacks, by the way, have been my, <coughs> excuse me, my long-standing favorite kind of lesser expensive headphones and so these actually will go into my ears a little bit further uh, and that does a couple things one is it gives 
excellent noise isolation. Since these are angled, they don't quite go in my ears quite as far, and so it, they don't give that total noise isolation, which is actually a, a preference. Some people don't like to just block out all noise um, when they're wearing a set of earbuds. It's still really good. Um, it, it's still good noise isolation. It's just not quite as good as something like this that would go further into your ears. Now the downside to a headphone like this um, is that you get a, a really strong microphonics effect or some people call it cable thump. And that is where when the cable bounces around in your shirt, it's almost like a stethoscope and uh, you could hear that banging in your ears. Uh, and that's because of the just the superb seal that you get with these. Uh, with the Rio S, they don't, um, you know, like I said, block out all the noise. So uh, you also don't get that strong cable thump uh, or microphonics um, that you get with some earbuds. So that's actually a plus of these not fitting um, really, you know, deep inside your ears. Now let me talk about the sound quality of these. Now, I mentioned that these are an upgraded model of the original Rio, and I had read some reviews where the original Rios had a bloated bass and rolled off treble and not so strong mids. Obviously, Noontech has done a really good job improving the sound on the Rio S because these have absolutely amazing clarity for a headphone that retails in the $50 to $60 range. They are almost as clear, and I can't believe I'm saying this, almost as clear as my Dunu DN1000s. Um, this is a $200 earbud, um, which is a dual driver, has a balanced armature, drive, balanced armature driver, as well as a dynamic driver to give it really strong bass and the really strong clarity that a balanced armature will give. And so these have just superb clarity bass. Um, these are awesome. Um, but uh, the Rio S, the clarity and the mids and the highs are almost as clear as the Dunu DN1000s, and that's saying quite a bit. Where they're lacking a little bit is in the bass. Uh, and these, I would say, are very balanced. So if you're, if you're more of an audiophile and you don't want uh, super strong bass, um, you're probably gonna love these for the price. Um, if you are a person who likes really booming bass, um, these are probably not your, not your earbud, but if you want to hear the music in a very clear way, um, things like guitar strings and classical music and saxophones and jazz, um, these are excellent. Uh, if, you're, if you're wanting just amazingly strong bass uh, for a low price, um, these Soul Republic Jacks, um, cannot be beat. This is not a balanced earbud by any means, um, but the, the clarity is pretty good on these for the amount of bass, but the clarity is not near as good as the Nuntech Rio S. Uh, so again, if you like your music to just be really clear, um, you, you know, just really good imaging on your music, so you want it to sound uh, pretty similar to the way it was produced, um, and you don't want to go out and spend a whole lot of money on a set of earbuds, um, you cannot go wrong with these Noontech Rio S earbuds. A couple other things I want to mention about these earphones is you do get a really nice case with these. It's a zippered pouch case. Uh, so, um, you know, it's a kind of a, a, it looks like kind of an imitation leather, but um, really good quality case to carry your earphones around and also has a little pouch inside to carry your ear tips. And while mentioning the, mentioning the ear tips, um, these come with four sets of the silicone ear tips. Uh, interestingly, uh, the, the sets are the same size, so you get uh, two sets of smalls and two sets of larger ones, um, whereas a lot of times with earphones you get you know, three or four different sizes. So you get two different sizes, but you get two pair of each size. Now, speaking of the ear tips, one thing that may help with these earphones is the Comply Foam uh, tips. And th this may help, it will definitely help with the fit. Um, I, they, if you go to Comply Foam's website, you can't find the Noontechs yet listed in their tip finder, at least the last time I checked. Um, but this is the 500 series, and this is the ones that worked on the Noontech Rio S. And I, I think these would be important uh, for people like me who have kind of finicky ear canals, because if I walk around with these, since they don't go deep inside my ears, um, they had a tendency at times to fall out. So especially if you're using these for uh, like a gym 
or walking around or even running, uh, I think you would want to go with the Comply Foam to kind of, these really just kind of lock them into your ears. They also give really good uh, noise isolation. Uh, so I would recommend the Comply Foam tips for the Rio S uh, if you have any fit problems. So that will wrap up my review of the Nuntech Rio S earphones. Just to sum it up, if you're a person who wants really clear music, really strong detail in your music, uh, then I would highly recommend these. Um, if you want just tons of bass um, without worrying about a music sounding balanced, um, you probably want to go with something with more bass. Again, like I said, the uh, Soul Republic Jacks uh, for that price range um, are pretty good. The quality on these seems to be very good. I haven't used them for a really long period of time, but um, it's a really, it seems to be a durable plastic, um, really good quality cable, and pretty good accessories with these. You know, with the case, uh, four sets of ear tips, um, I, I think the, uh, the accessories are, are, are pretty on par. Um, so, again, for the price, uh, I, I, you're not going to be able to beat the, uh, the clarity and quality of these. Um, so, these are some earphones that I would recommend. So thanks for watching.